Hi, welcome to Turkish Engineering. In this course, we are going to study college physics. But it will be just a basic introduction to college physics. Why I'm saying that it is just a basic introduction? Because this course will be based on algebra. And the real case, actually, the college students are studying physics based on calculus. And it uh, sometimes will be challenging and uh, too hard for s some students. So, in this course, I'm going to, uh, I, I will try to just simplify physics and we will take it easy so it will be just based on algebra and we will try to understand the basic principles of physics so this course will be suitable for uh, 11th grade and 12th grade uh, high school students uh, and also for college students which are uh, feeling themselves that that they are not ready for uh, taking college physics and uh, uh, seeing that uh, college physics is so complicated and calculus is uh, too hard. So just take it easy and understand the basic principle, principles of physics uh, in high school level, okay, based on algebra. Then you will see yourself that when you are studying college physics based on calculus, that will be easy for you, okay. So let's start uh, the introduction video. It's the introduction video uh, by... Uh, drawing a map for physics, okay? So in the first part, first part of physics, which we are studying in high school or in college physics, actually the classical approach for physics will be uh, just, uh, our first step will be classical mechanics, okay? Classical mechanics. We can just put mechanics, but it's actually classical mechanics, okay? It's the classical approach for mechanics. So we will start with mechanics and it will be, uh, actually the biggest part of the physics, okay, the biggest part of the physics and the, uh, one of the most important parts of the physics. If you understand mechanics, mechanics and the basic principles of the mechanics, so physics uh, after this step will be easier for you, okay. So actually uh, we can study mechanics, we can study a lot of things in physics, okay, we, we can study thermodynamics, okay, thermodynamics, we can study fluid mechanics, okay, which is uh, actually uh, focusing on just fluids, fluid motions and fluid uh, pressures and like this. So we can study, uh, as I said, a lot of things, nuclear physics, just nuclear physics will be modern physics, not the classical uh, physics, okay. So it's uh, just a, ni uh, a new part. Uh, we can put a lot of things, as I said. So electromagnetics, okay. And uh, etc. Okay, we, ha uh, we have a lot of parts for physics. Actually, uh, I, I didn't put a good a map uh, because uh, we will just focus in this course for mechanics. So I will just focus to this part, okay? I will focus to this part. Because in this course, we are not going to take thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, nuclear physics, uh, or electromagnetics. So it will be just physics one, okay? Physics one. And for uh, for another uh, playlist, maybe we will take electromagnetics, which, which will be our physics two, okay? Physics two. But in this part, so for physics one, uh, which is actually the topics for the AP physics and uh, 11th grade uh, uh, physics, we will take just mechanics. So what can we talk about mechanics? Okay, just uh, just zoom, zoom uh, into uh, physics, uh, mechanics, okay? So I will put mechanics again here, okay? How can we study uh, mechanics? And what are the parts uh, of mechanics? Actually, mechanics will be just divided into two subparts, okay? So I have uh, just put the first part, okay. I can study mechanics uh, in kinetics, okay, or kinematics. I will explain what's kinematics and what's kinetics. But just say that, uh, let's say that for, uh, just for the f uh, first step, mechanics actually will study, okay, we will study motion, okay, and Causes of the motion, okay, and causes of the motion. So, kinematics will study just the motion, okay, study of the motion. We can say that it is study of the motion. 
study of the motion without causes. Okay, we will not focus and we will not be interested uh, in, in uh, causes, in the causes of the motion. But in kinetics, actually, we will study study of the motion with considering okay, the causes. So this is the ba basic idea. Kinematics without causes, without forces, without energies, without momentum. But kinetics will just focus uh, 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 to what the causes of the motion. Kinetics will focus uh, on to causes of the motion. So we will study in part of kinetics the forces, the energies, the torques, etc. Okay, but let's zoom now for kinem uh, just kinematics and kinetics. Actually, they are they are studying same thing, same thing. Okay, they are just uh, here uh, going to the same same idea. They are studying the same idea, the motion. They are studying. The motion. So we will show that what what are the parts of the motion. So we we uh, we, we just explained that we can the mechanics actually kinematics and kinetics, and it is study of the motion. So in kinematics we just study uh, the motion without the causes, and in kinetics we are interested in the causes. So but they both are uh, studying the motion. So what can we talk about the motion? So motion can be translational, translational, can be rotational, or can be oscillatory, okay? So we have just three types of mo uh, motion. The first part is translational, okay? And the second part is rotational, and the third part is oscillatory, okay? So. What's translational motion? We have three types of motion, as I said. Translational, rotational, oscillatory. So translational motion, uh, the motion the, when the motion happens, and actually your initial position will change. So you are changing your position, OK? If you are changing your position from position one to position two, so you are just moving in, uh, in the space from initial position to the final position. And there are differences between these two positions. So you can say that you are translating and you are making translational motion. Uh, what about rotational motion? In rotational motion, actually, your position is stable. OK, so uh, your, your position is not changing. But you are rotating at the same position, at the same center. You are uh, rotating about a center. OK, and this center actually is intersecting uh, with your body. So you are at your body or your object is at the same point. Uh, at the same position, but it's rotating. So it is rotational motion. And uh, rotational motion will, ha uh, will have uh, will has some uh, another principles, okay, some another ideas. For, for kinematics part, so rotational motion, we, will, we can study rotational motion into kinematics part and kinetics part. So, but you will see that when you study translational motion, kinematics of translational motion will be different from uh, rotational motion kinematics. So. You must understand that we have uh, some types of motion. So uh, f firstly, we will start with translational motion. Then we will go to rotational. Then we will go to the oscillatory motion. So if you know uh, uh, where are you actually, so you will be more confident, OK? And uh, just try to understand more. And actually, you will know that uh, you are studying what. But if you don't know what, <laughs> what are you studying, so it will be just more complicated, OK? So let's uh, talk about translational motion. It can be just rectilinear, OK? If your path is linear, if your path is linear, just uh, I will give an example. If you are driving a car, if you are driving a car, so you are moving at linear path, right? If you are moving with your car in linear path, so this will be rectilinear motion. So, so you have a translational motion. That means that your initial position and final position uh, is not at the same location, right? So you are moving, uh, in but uh, translating at the same time. So uh, if your path is linear, 
if your path is linear, it can be two dimensional or one dimensional or three dimensional. Actually, the motion can uh, only be in uh, three dimensions, not more than three dimensions. It can be one dimension uh, in one dimension, two dimensions, or three dimensions. But it cannot be more than three dimensions because in this space we have only three dimensions. So rectilinear motion can be only in one dimension. So it will be very easy to study. It can be in two dimensions, a little bit difficult, and it can be in three dimensions. If you understand one-dimensional basic rectilinear motion, so these ba these basic principles will ma uh, make you able to understand 2D and 3D uh, rectilinear motion. What about the second part? It's curvilinear motion, okay? If you, you are making uh, translational motion, but your path is curved, okay? So uh, just like... Uh, uh, projectile motion, okay? So you are throwing something. When you throw something, your path will be uh, curvilinear and will not be linear, right? It's, it will not be linear, it is uh, curvilinear. So we will study projectile motion in this part, okay? We will study projectile motion. And the last part is circular motion, okay? Circular motion. So what's the difference between circular and rotational motion? Actually, in the circular motion, you are, rota ro you are rotating about a center and this center uh, this axis actually is not intersecting uh, with the body with the object which is rotating for example just assume that you are in in your car and you are taking a circular path you are rotating about a center okay your your car will be just rotated okay so this is your car okay this is your car which is going in this way but you are rotating about this center and this center actually is not intersecting with your car, okay? So you will say that uh, this is this can be only circular motion. But if your uh, object actually is rotating uh, about itself, okay, rotating about itself, or or about axis which is intersecting or, uh, with the body, so you will say that you are making rotational motion, motion and it is, it is not uh, circular motion. So th this is the basic uh, difference between circular and rotational motion. Rotational motion just <coughs> one type, okay? There, there is no subparts. It's just rotational motion. Then oscillatory motion actually the pendulum, okay? You, we will we can say that pendulum, the motion of the pendulum or spring, okay? Just can be uh, some basic examples for oscillatory motion. Uh, maybe we will just take translational and rotational motion, and in this course maybe I can skip the oscillatory motion and just uh, let it for the college physics, okay? Not for introduction uh, playlist. But the main parts of classical mechanics, just you must understand what are translational motion types and kinematics of translational motion, kinetics of translational motion, then you will move to rotational motion, understand what's, uh, what's uh, kinematics of uh, rotational motion and kinetics of rotational motion, okay? So this is our map. Just, uh, uh, it's not good draw, drawn, but <laughs> just uh, take the idea, okay? Take the idea. So it's just basic introduction to our course. So we will start by this part, okay? We, we actually, as I said, we will not study thermodynamics now and fluid mechanics or nuclear physics or electromagnetics. We will just zoom to mechanics. So it will be mechanics course. So mechanics, we will start by the... Uh, the easier one, kinematics, will be without causes, without asking anything, just <laughs> making your job and it will be easy. Okay, kinematics will, will be easy. Kinetics, we will ask some questions and just uh, talk about energy and forces. So first part it is kinetic, kinematics, then kinetics. And what about the motion types? Actually, we will separate our course into uh, motion types. We will study first translational motion. Okay, so we will finish the kinematics of translational motion, then we will study kinetics of translational motion. After that, we will just move to rotational motion. So see you uh, into next video. We will start with translational motion, actually the rectilinear motion. Uh, and we will skip one dimensional motion. Actually, one dimensional motion is easy. And I, I think that you took one dimensional motion in high school, ninth grade. Okay. So I will skip it. I will start with uh, just plane motion, okay? Motion in plane. So it will be two-dimensional, okay? We will start to study motion by, uh, in 2D, okay? So this rectilinear motion, we will take it 2D, not 3D, not 3D. 3D will be just in college level and not 1D. 
because 1D is simple, so actually you know the uh, basics from the ninth grade. So we will focus and we will start with two-dimensional motion. So see you uh, to the next video, okay?